They have rolled the dice. They have crossroads. And then you have travel. So somebody is in the energy where they're getting ready to take a leap of faith. You know, they're going towards a whole nother direction. Um, but they're unsure of where they want to go with travel being here. And this could be you. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you have detached from. This could be someone who wants to come towards you, different people that they're attached to, different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future. So you have to take what resonates and just leave what doesn't. You have addiction. And then you have proposal. And then wedding. So whoever this person is, this person has this, um, with addiction being here, like that person could be stuck on another person. They want to offer that person love. Because this addiction card, it talks about um, toxic attachments. This could be drugs. This could be alcohol. This could be an obsession with another person. But um, they're obsessed with wanting to offer someone love. Then you have wedding being here, marriage. They're viewing this person as the one for them. They want to be with this person forever. You have date. So this could be someone that's, you know, wanting to date again. Or they're um, wanting to court someone, meet up with someone. Yeah, the grass is greener. This person could have been in a situation where they were just unhappy and they're realizing that they deserve better. You have liquid courage. And then regret. So somebody is in regret um, because that person have built up their confidence. That person is someone that's being very brave whatever it is that they're wanting to go towards. You have music. This person could be a musician or they like to play music. They like to listen to music. This person could want to play some music for you or something like that. Then you have divine timing. Then you have storm warning. So something happened to have this person in the energy of waiting to do whatever it is that they were wanting to do. Like some type of drama happened, an obstacle came, all of a sudden out of nowhere. They didn't see this coming, like a tower. Yeah, the truth. They ended up finding out some type of secret. Something was revealed. Yeah, mask is here. So somebody had a hidden motive and they needed to find out the truth before this person tried to come towards you. Um, somebody had to lie to that person. They had to try to cover up something and they were wearing a mask like in a disguise. So this is why something was off. Like with divine timing being here, the timing was off for that person to come towards you. You have fear. Somebody was afraid of them finding out that they lied about something. They had a hidden motive. Family. So somebody was afraid that their family would find out that they lied about something, but the truth ended up coming out. So whoever the person is that created some type of obstacle, they were in fear of their family finding out that they had a hidden motive. They lied. They were trying to cover up something, but it's out. It's like immediately after they tried to cause some type of drama or a tower moment for another person, they ended up getting exposed. Yeah, snake. This was definitely somebody that caused some type of deception and they were someone's enemy. Like this could have been someone that was your enemy, a hidden enemy that you didn't know, a hidden enemy to this person that wants to come towards you could be both. But this person was in fear of their family finding out. So maybe they had their family helping them cause some type of deception for you or this person, or it could be both. And now um, the truth has came out. 
they're looking at this person as someone that's a snake. You have hookup. And then signs and synchronicities and text message. So this is someone who definitely hooked up with another person. Um, they tempted this person, slept with this person, and this was like a one night stand. Somebody could have some, some type of message to that person that wants to come towards you and expose something. Like they were trying to give them some type of uh, sign or synchronicity that this person was a snake that they hooked up with. And maybe they just didn't see it. That person wore a mask. It's like that person wore a mask to everybody that they were attached to. This could also mean that that person did not want, you know, different people to know that they were addicted to some type of drug because you have addiction being here. Like they didn't want people to know that they were strung out. Yeah. So whatever messages came through from another person, it caused whoever the person is that wants to come towards you to get enlightened. Like they went through a spiritual awakening. They found out the truth about who this person is. So you have the Hermit and the King of Wands. This is whoever this person is that have went through this spiritual awakening, this King of Wands. They've overcome whatever this obstacle was. It's like they're standing up in their strength. They're very confident. As I say, somebody is in regret for that person being brave about something. And it's like they're motivated to take some type of action towards you. This is someone who is honoring their spiritual self after going through this awakening. You have the Knight of Swords and then the Five of Swords. So, yeah, it's like somebody, it's like now they're determined to make some type of big change or jump into something, go towards something. Now that they've been, you know, spiritually activated. They have mental clarity now. And it's like whoever this Knight of Swords energy is. I mean, you know, I'm also seeing that somebody ran in quick and did something and did not know that they were sabotaged yourself. Yeah, because somebody did something, you know, solely off of envy, jealousy, intimidation. They thought they would be able to bully a person, gang up a lot of people to bully another person, deceive another person. And it, it, it all came out and they didn't expect this. You have judgment. Yeah, somebody did not expect to go through some type of consequences for whatever they did. And it's like, this is the type of person that likes to place the blame on other people. This is why they hide under a mask. They like to lie, scheme, scam, set up people, different things like that. But this caused another person to look at their self and realize they needed to do some self-reflecting. And this is how they ended up going through this awakening. You have the Three of Cups. This person is someone that is wanting to come. Um, it's like this could be a reconciliation or this person is in the energy. They're happy. They want to get together with you. As I said, that person is someone that wants to date you, but they see you as the one. You make this person feel happy. You have the Queen of Cups. Then the Wheel of Fortune. 
So yeah, this person is definitely looking at you as their their soulmate, their destined um partner. Something was fated to take place. Whenever this person, it's like as soon as that person did whatever they did, it caused a lot of karma as well. So that person didn't know that the way it was set up, if they were trying to, you know, stop divine time and create some type of obstacle, they would be issued out a lot of karma. Other people that they were attached to that was lied to, they could have started going through a lot of unnecessary karma because of this person. You have the seven of cups in the reverse. So yeah, somebody is definitely gaining clarity. They're realizing something. If somebody was in the energy where they drunk a lot, you know, they drunk with this person, different people was drinking with that person. Now they're in the energy of being more sober. They're not able to confuse people anymore. People are also realizing that they made poor choices if they were blinded to the fact that that person lied to get them to help cause some type of deception to you. You have the two of cups. And then the Queen of Swords. And then the Eight of Swords. It's like people are looking at that person as someone that got mad because some type of truth came out. You could be this Queen of Swords. You could have spoke the truth to the person that wants to partner up with you with this Two of Cups, Queen of Swords, and Eight of Swords. After that, it's like that person wanted to have you feeling stuck, like tied up, backed into a corner, stressed out, in fear of something, feeling hopeless, feeling helpless, feeling powerless, create some type of crisis for you. And nobody would know why they did what they did because you hadn't spoke the truth. So it's like whatever you said to that person about this person causing some type of deception to them, they were upset. Knight of Swords, Five of Swords. They were determined to try to sabotage you. And they just felt like everybody would be blinded from the truth. Nobody would be able to discern that they were a hidden enemy, a snake, somebody that had to lie because you spoke the truth. You have the Six of Cups and then the Sun. So yeah, a lot of stuff that took place in the past it's being illuminated. Everything is coming out. You have the three of wands. Oh, wow. And then the nine of swords in the reverse. So it's like somebody have made a decision, you know, they, they're in the energy of having a lot more foresight about what took place in the past. And they're just letting go of negativity, stress. This could be this person that wants to come towards you. This could be this family dynamic that was deceived. Yeah, it's like they're letting go of whoever this person is. They feel like this person is someone that is very um, stress, stressful, negative. You have the Empress. If this person was someone that wanted you to be stressed out, they didn't know that you were able to see something before it happened or something that was going on behind the scenes. The Empress is someone that is very um, intuitive, very high vibrational. And um, they did not know that you were able to discern this. Like you were able to see 10 steps ahead of whatever they were doing. Things would be revealed to you or something like that, where you would be able to expose them. Um, yeah, the nine of swords that they wanted you to be in, stressed out in fear, you know, just feeling hopeless, feeling powerless. This didn't work. It's like you're in this empress energy. It's like you could have took whatever energy that they wanted you to be in and you used it for um creativity goals accomplishing different things you have the six of pentacles the four of pentacles 
the strength card is here and then the three of swords yeah that person is hurt because you're someone that is very strong you have a lot of inner strength confidence courage and you've overcame whatever this is that they were trying to create for you like an obstacle you're too focused and this stresses them out it's like they wanted to project some type of negative energy onto you and they're sitting in it and it's weighing them down yeah it's like somebody was trying to hold on to another person because they were accustomed to that person being very generous to them kind to them supporting them taking care of them and um now it's like they're overwhelmed that person realized as they you know got out of whatever this illusion is um and gained clarity this was extra responsibility this was stuff that was being thrown in their face that they did not expect to deal with and it was keeping them stressed out weighed down and burdened it's like they were being taken for granted for um, whoever this person is. You have the Queen of Pentacles. And then the High Priestess. Yeah, it's like whoever this person is. This person is someone that's very materialistic. But they, um, they have a lot of spiritual insight. A lot of inner knowing. Inner knowledge. But it's like somebody uses something in a negative way. Whatever spiritual insight that they have or knowledge, they use it to gain money, you know, finances, stability. You have worth waiting for and then true love so if it was some type of obstacle that was created to stop that person from coming towards you this was worth the wait because that person needed to get woke that person needed to realize who they were attached to this person is your true love and it's like they found out why they were so you know um obsessed with wanting to come towards you offer you love feeling like you're the one for them you and this person, this is a romance of a lifetime. You have chemistry. It's like there's a lot of chemistry between you and this person. There's definitely a strong attraction between two people. Then you have very soon. So that person is getting ready to reach out to you very soon. They want to get to know you. You have to clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Yeah, you have getting to know you as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens so this is someone that you're already um having this strong magnetic um attraction towards or chemistry with bond with spiritually it's going to deepen physically divine timing just has been at work in your love life because that person needed to see something like a mass ended up falling off other people that were helping this person, they're no longer confused. They needed to see that they were deceived. You have release your ex. So somebody definitely needed to clear their energy. And then you have wedding. This situation involves wedding. Involves marriage. I mean, Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So, yeah, it's like you're the person that this person is going to marry. Be in this um, for everlasting commitment with. You know, this mutual agreement. And um, they needed to clear their energy out from whoever this deceptive person was. To be able to work on a partnership with you.
It's like somebody knew what they were doing. This is why they were in fear and did not want to get caught. But this is the reason why they got caught because they knew it was something that was wrong that they were doing. Trying to, you know, cause some type of deception for you. You have wedding rings. Yeah, this is definitely a soul connection. You and this person is getting ready to come in union. And this situation definitely um, involves a wedding. It involves marriage. It's out here three times. You have abundance. Keep a positive mind so that you're able to manifest what you truly want. You have lightning. Because all of a sudden, something is getting ready to shock you, surprise you. Um, yeah, just all of a sudden. This is going to be like a sudden change in your life. You have separation and then seduction. Yeah, somebody is sad. It's like they're sad because... That person is not attracted to them how they wanted that person to be attracted to them. Like with seduction being here, they could have did something to tempt that person, seduce that person to interfere with this connection. And this involved, this caused a hookup, you know, with whoever this person is. But now it's like they've separated themselves from that person. Being attached to that person just had them unsure about what was going to happen next in their life. So it's like they could be in the energy of just separating their self from dating, hooking up with people, flirting with people, and different things like that. Like somebody is just focusing on being positive. Um, and they're in the energy of just thinking about you missing you. You have cassette. And then hammer. So somebody is definitely in the energy of um, realizing where they did wrong at. They're replaying different events that happen over and over in their head if they were used by different people that seduced them. And they're realizing how they sabotaged their self being attached to these people. And now they're rebuilding their self, working on their self. So you have heart with the key. So this person is in the energy where they're welcoming love. They feel like you, as I say, they feel like you are the one and they want to open their heart to you. You have both. They're def definitely getting ready to come towards you, but they needed to um, make some type of change, transition, release something before coming towards you because there's a partnership with soulmates being here. There's an agreement that is... Um, in a soul contract between you and that person. You have I like you. So this person is someone who likes you for who you truly are. This is what has made that person fall in love with you physically. The energy that you're in. You have date and then love. Yeah. This person is definitely planning something. They're definitely going to come towards you in the energy of um, wanting to date you. Because it's like they have some type of unconditional love for you. Not only is that person attracted to who you are as a person, but there's a lot of passion that they have for you. Affection, attraction. And it's like they only want it with you or they only have this for you. Yeah, it's like whatever, whoever is trying to like communicate with this person, tempt this person, they're able to see this now that they've gotten woke. And they're in the energy of not dealing with people, avoiding different people that are in this energy of trying to like tempt them and different things like that. Like somebody has set healthy boundaries with not today. Wow. You have kisses. Yeah, this could be someone who wants to kiss you. This definitely is someone who has fallen in love with you. And they look at you as someone that loves unconditionally. This is why they love you unconditionally. It's like you give this person butterflies. 
Yeah, so this person is someone who definitely needed to reflect on their self. Um, and like set healthy boundaries, stand up for their self, have the courage and the strength to not be able to be seduced, used, and different things like that. Just hooking up with random people. And it was keeping them in the energy of, um, you know, being confused, not being able to see properly. But it's like now they're in the energy where they're no longer confused. They're seeing reality. They're seeing things for what it is. And they're realizing what poor choices that they made. And it has helped that person better their self, become a better person. Yeah, and it's, and, and it's like they're in the energy of wanting to come towards you and commit to you. Like this person wants to, this is the person that you're going to be um, in a long-term commitment with, like marriage. 